हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू द एनालिसिस ऑफ कोविड नाइन्टीन ऑन द टूडेज डेटा एंड द बेसिस ऑफ दैट वी आर ट्राइंग टू फाइंड आउट वेदर द बाई द लैटिट्यूड और लॉन्गिट्यूड इज देर एनी अफेक्ट ऑफ द कोविड नाइन्टीन इन्फेक्शन और मॉर्टेलिटी रेट सो फॉर दैट पर्पज just uh, for the sake of i just tell you just give you a brief information that what is longitude and latitude is just a simple thing like you see the the in, in suppose this is a earth and so all the divided into uh, latitude and longitude this is the angle angle based so similarly so all these straight lines are called latitudes and all this along the lines across it are called longitude so in the mid of it it is at the zero degree and so on it is going up and down and the angles are changing so we are just trying to find out that whether there is is any effect because of uh, because of this the change in longitude or latitude so that's what we are trying to uh, find here uh, just see oh, just just a second uh start to raise it so see what i'm trying to do here uh, i just uh, the whole data set is taken from the kaggle and this is how they are updating data all the times uh, so what i'm trying to do that does latitude impact the spread of covid-19 so here i use the public data set that are hosted on kaggle to demonstrate that there are geographical variation in both SARS-CoV-19 infection rate and the and its mortality rate of because of that like COVID-19. Uh, specifically identified a specific range of latitude that allows for rapid spread of the COVID-19 coronavirus disease. So just take a look at it. Now you see, first I just imported my all the Python libraries like import pandas as pd numpy and here i specifically it is a it is a visualization based most of the visualization is done on the based of the country just like a heat map so i just imported plotly.express as px just because it shows some nice and beautiful uh, plots so that's so i just imported the data you see I just go for the import warnings and warning start filter warning just to ignore it. Now see, uh, I just imported the data the world world cloud country and USA state latitude and longitude values. It is just a data set. Just I show you the picture of it. The this data contains the country code, latitude and longitude of the particular country like Andorra, United Arab Emirates, and similarly. For the United States, the data is also available for the United States. Just take a look. Like uh, United States code, latitude and longitude for United States, and the name of the United States. So this is how this data looks like. I just took a picture from the Kaggle set. <coughs> Now what I am trying to do is, I just put all the first I analyze it on the basis of the country, on one. Uh, scenario and in another another scenario, I just put all the United States of America and another scenario and compare in between the state and one is among the country. So I just uh, did some preparation of the data because the data uh, this data has both the country and uh, USA state wise data both. So I just took out of the country data and the USA based data in two different uh, coordinates, two different object names. Like see, I just make a country codes and I just pd dot read and see the name of the data set is coordinates so out of that i just took country code latitude longitude and country in one object name similarly usa state usa state latitude longitude and country usa state names in another so i have two object names one country in the country wise another the state wise now you see there is another uh, set of data which contains the number of infected people the confirmed cases and the death of the uh, people uh, country wise so and usa state wise both so there is a uh, another set of data you can get all the data at our github repository that is given in the description portion of the video so just see pd.rena csv novel, novel corona uh, covid19 data.csv just what i did i just imported in and just you see the name of the data is df so i just put it Like. 
सीरियल नंबर ऑब्जर्वेशन डेट प्रोविंसेस कंट्री लास्ट अपडेट कंफर्म केसेस डेथ रिकवरी एंड द कंट्री द होल डेटा इज गिवन हियर सो जस्ट जस्ट इफ यू वांट टू गो फॉर मोर लाइक 50 सो यू सी सो जस्ट कॉट इट लाइक अबाउट 50 सो इट इज लाइक अ कंट्री इन द अल्फाबेटिकल ऑर्डर द कंट्री इज गिवन एंड बहामास so this is how so again now just uh you see uh ah oh, sorry yeah, here it is so i just imported the data set and i just replaced the country region column in the country and region column i just used the replace i just replaced there is a name like mainland china so i replaced it by china and the name of us by united states that's it now i make a new column that is the country and i assign that values in that now i just getting a date date so i have the observation dates that is a column in the dm so i just equal equal to np dot max so i just take max date that is available and just took a data set of of that particular max date up to max date that is equal to that in the df now what i am trying to do suppose you are going to put up to today's date if data is updated you can put the today's line so i just created this uh, sheet today so i just put the today's date like 20 uh, 25th of april see now what i'm trying to do i'm calculating the mortality rate for each and every country in the data set and similarly for the us so i just prepared the data accordingly and not only that after doing this i save the data set for further use suppose next time i have to do some analysis so i just write it into csv similarly in the us now see what i did i converted a data frame first i just group by this my particular data group by by the country as many distinct country it has then i just use a slice operator and slice the death column in the data set and on the death column i just summed up so what it gives it gave the total number of death per country i just make it a data frame and put it into df underscore death similarly i did for country for the confirmed cases so i have the uh, total number of confirmed cases country wise and then out of the df underscore death i took death column and assign into in this df underscore confirm so this has two columns like that confirm total number of confirmed country wise and total number of death country wise i just give it a new name like c df underscore global and df underscore global i put I, i just created a new uh, column like mortality rate so i just assigned numpy dot round i just get the total number of death dot values dot values just converted into a numpy array that's why i use dot values dot value convert into a numpy array i divided a df underscore glo uh, global dot confirmed values so total number of dead by total number of confirmed values per country wise and multiply it in 100 100 to get into the get the percentage of that so this is the mortality percentage country wise i just reset into the index again what i did i just put the merge the country underscore coordinate you see here country underscore coordinate contain country code latitude longitude and country name so these are the data i just merge it country run it on the basis of country on the left and on the right country 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 so it is df global df global and then i sliced country confirm death mortality rate latitude longitude and confirm and longitude and country code df dot columns is equal to i am just by doing df And uh, underscore global dot columns. I am assigning new names to my the existing columns. So just nothing. Country, confirmed, deaths, mortality rate, latitude, longitude, and country underscore code. So it's just not going to make a much difference. Just to avoid any error, I just put it df underscore global dot two underscore csv. I just write it with a new name. Similarly, I just did the same thing for the state wise. of the united states of america so just country region i took united states of the maximum date of the data 
US state, the name of the state and mortality rate are the similar fashion. You can correlate with the earlier and write it into COVID-19 mortality rates dot CSV. The same way as I did earlier for the country. Now just see I have two data sets. One for the country wise, the mortality rate and one of the United States of the mortality rate. Now let's see what I did earlier. Now here I am using the Plotly Express library. Here is a choropleth function. It contains the maps, maps country-wise and, and also the United States, state-wise map of United States and country-wise map of the world. So you can use any of them and you can put some colors accordingly as the number of increasing and decreasing order of the mortality rate or infections. So that's what I'm trying to do. And after that, we will try to compare that is there are any uh, differences on among the uh, across the latitude uh, the infection rate or the death rate so first i just take a df underscore global the data of the country country wise location i just put country country is the column colors confirmed color how you going to put colors so that i have the confirmed column location mode location mode it has two options the core plath function the two options like country names or USA states. So right now we are doing the country wise. So I pushed country names. Hover name country. So as you will move the move your uh, mouse, it will change the color. Range color. I just put the colors like zero, like today. It depends on you. You just Google it out and you can put so many different colors as you want. Similarly, I give a title like global COVID nineteen infection as of and this concatenate the today's date. Fit dot show. Similarly, the Google. Uh, df underscore global data of country wise death rates and the global plus positive color third is the mortality rate that's what i did now i see you just run it let just take a few seconds let us see just see uh, here is the country wise it is the infection uh, so, uh, sorry, sorry it is the infection as on today's date yeah you see that this is the less of 50,000 and it is more than much so as the yolo it is much and more infected people so across the latitude suppose if it is the latitude across it so as i hover you see india india till date is had it is around 23000 something so you can just take an example like 23500 or something infected people till date uh, now at the same moment if i go to like uh, spain you see 213000 similarly france 160000 something uh, this is United States. Uh, this is not so. Maybe I, I, I might not have data or something. Italy, it is 190,000 uh, people are infected. Same the Canada, 43,000. And you see the USA, it is the most like eight, uh, 869,000 or perhaps maybe in one or two it will cross nine lakh or like something. While on the across the across the uh, latitude you see there is a number of high cases like United States of America and 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 Europe you see and across the and off of the latitude of this there is a lesser cases like in Canada and in the lower part again there are very less cases and there is a one country like yeah, you see yeah, Greenland it has a very very less country maybe because of the cold or no we are not confirming like it is a cold or something it is just a case what data is showing we cannot we have to analyze the factors that are going to affect now now, now uh, after the infection we can go to like like the deaths see again uh, you see if we go the there is a brazil it has a, a very number of death if we go down the latitude uh, america the united states of america it is around fifty thousand deaths and uh, Egypt, no, I'm just uh, Spain, 22,000 and this and this. And again, China, uh, we, China is 4,000 4, and the India is 7,000. You see that? So this is the region. We cannot confirm that, yes, it is across the latitude. This is a very high ratio, but a little effect you can see that. Now, if we go for the mortality rate, that is a very important factor because mortality rate is actual the things that how does a country is able to save their people even though they are affected. So in this condition, if we see United States of America is very, very important because it has the maximum number of infected people and maximum number of uh, mortalities, deaths. So see, his mortality rate is 5.75. 
Canada is 5.18. Now, if you see India, India has a very low mortality rate of 3.12. So, where is the high mortality rate? It's Spain, uh, France, and this is the Sweden. Maybe up, uh, maybe this this haphazard way is showing just that. Maybe some there is specific region just because of the government's policy how they are affecting Italy, how they took this, and even in Africa you see this is Sudan. Algeria and Mauritania and in this is the Mexico. So this is how affected. So this is what happening around the world. So we we really cannot confirm that uh, ac across the latitude is of much effect. Maybe if perhaps tomorrow we have uh, in a week, in a week we have much more data, then we can do some better analysis. Now just take a look, take a look at the plot spread of COVID nineteen for every country for every country like. Country-wise, how uh, the infection and uh, the number of death and mortality rate occurring. So we just did a bar plot, plotly using plotly express plotly express dot bar data set sorted the values means uh, ascending integer to false means higher to lower and zero to twenty means we are only interested on the top twenty countries which are more uh, most affected. So on the x-axis I put country and on the y-axis I put confirmed confirmed cases. Similarly, on x-axis country y deaths and third one is the mortality. So just take a look, I just plotted. You can see the codes on the GitHub repository. So here you see, yeah, the confirmed cases, the United States has the maximum. Infected people, then Spain, then Italy, then France, Germany, Turkey, Iran, China, Russia, Brazil. And you see India comes at this position. It has around 23,000 infected. Now if you take a look at the deaths around the people, you know India has the 3.12, uh, the mortality rate. So India is again here, 721 deaths. Now United States, the maximum number of deaths. United States, it is around 50. So. 8 lakh around more than 8 lakh like around 9 lakh people are infected and death rate is like now you see the belgium germany and so on you can see and you can analyze of it your and the mortality rate so now if we compare mortality rate per infected is uh, usa and italy has wax mortality rate maybe because of their policy or the government interventions intervention how they are going to tackle the uh, situation uh, the medication on and all those things that quite affect but if you take India India is is is, is uh, performing f uh, quite fairly the mortality rate is 3.12 and uh, you see Brazil and this yes Netherlands Netherlands has high mortality rate we have to find out the reason so now uh, next we are trying to do the same for the United States of America the same thing the first the choreoplath the uh, the uh, the latitude wise confirmed death and mortality rate so what i did this you just see this is the you may see this is the this is new york means the actually if we take a look at that the new york and some of the states which are on the which are on the bank like which are on the ccb c beaches have the are the most affected like texas california it has around forty thousand confirmed cases and New York it has 263 confirmed cases so it is a very grim situation maybe because it is a, maybe because it is one of the business places at the business center now just go through the and the, the total number of deaths so it's just a simple um, observation that it has the total number of confirmed cases so on the basis of it is within it because the death mortality rate within a country is homogeneous because the policy for a whole country is the same the medical equipment and the, the decision regarding the medical facilities are taken in the same so it is not a comparison of a country to a country it is within a country so there is we cannot say it's a simple idea as the number of cases so the mortality rate so new york this is california now if you go for the total mortality rates that was the sorry total death now here we go for the total mortality rate so mortality rate is high in uh, yes it is in new york but it is much high in michigan and uh, that's the part of michigan okay right right we cannot see 
it is within a country. So Michigan has some particular uh, factor or particular policy. That's why uh, maybe it is a it is one of the business center or just a company to the New York. So here Washington, then California. California is performing quite fair than the rest of the states. Similarly, Texas is uh, even fair than rest of the states because its mortality rate is just 2.67. So we can see that it is just a part of analysis. Now, just take a look at the plot spread of COVID-19 for USC states. Similarly, that's uh, New York, it's New York. The mortality rate of New Jersey, New Jersey is just at joining city. New York and then Michigan is very high so we have to take the account of the Connecticut Louisiana then Washington so just it is a point like if we are interested like a um, uh, we are interested like a <coughs> latitude wise so you just see here according to latitude we cannot say much about that maybe latitude wise how it is affecting is not that important because we cannot clearly say but in the case of world, we can say the latitude latitude wise, it is affecting. Just take an example of America and in the same like in Europe, like China, the, all these countries fall in and some part of India, you can say also it is very in the proximity. So we can say that they are all affected at just a, so this is, a, uh, uh, we are just to take a better look, we can go uh, wide, latitude wise, just take a scatter plot. <coughs> On the x-axis we put latitude and on the y-axis on the mortality rate. So US are let's say let's say, let's say. again again we did it the mortality rate. Uh, you you can take the this course easily. Uh, maybe now you see that here. If we take the confirmed cases. So just see that uh, I just take a DF global assign a new name. Just take an example how the latitude wise is there any effect. So I just took DF underscore global two, just the new name of DF global. I create a new column, and I just took the absolute value of DF underscore global two latitude because the the latitude values is positive negative. We really not interested to to that because it is in the same line. So we are interested that in the same line if there is any pattern so I just took absolute value of that and DF global country not including to China just exclude the China. Now see PX scatters this is a scatter plot ascending values of death ascending is equal to false means uh, sorry sorted underscore value it is the descending order higher to lower x axis latitude and y axis confirm same y axis death and then x axis latitude for the deaths and then uh, plt dot is square global to uh, sorted value by death y axis mortality rate and then latitude so death latitude confirm latitude and mortality latitude <coughs> so you see we just plotted here confirm cases so latitude wise around the 40 to 50 latitude there is some more diverse cases uh, rather than compared to rest of the places if we go around like again there are some diversity but like around 40 to 50 the cases are similar we cannot say much effect but around uh, this 50 to 53 there are some diversity along the uh, latitude of 50 to 53 again now see to mortality so in the mortality again it is quite uh, spread across the whole country so mortality rate is definitely not totally related to the total number of confirmed cases so it is uh, how it depends on country to country and its policy now the similarly the same thing we just plotting the 19 versus latitude for every USA state. So here the mortality, y latitude. 
now you see mortality by latitude this is just showing that the countries across as you say 35 or 32 to uh, 50 you can say generally just 30 to 50 the 20 degree of this latitude is most of the state and that's because we cannot say it is all around this latitude is because you cannot say a car, uh, 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 this thing about a state because most of the uh, most of the states of United States are within this range that's why very few states just go beyond this range that's why there are very few cases so this we cannot say uh, uh, around the latitude it is going to make up it so this is what a simple analysis I try to do then and uh, if we know much about uh, um, perhaps if we have more data we can be a better a better idea about it so this is all analysis you can get benefit from that so this is all from our uh, our part thank you very much for today